Jalod Equine MFA, born Omotala Jalod, is a Nigerian actress, singer, philanthropist and former mother. Since her Nollywood film debut in 1995, Equine has appeared in over 300 films, selling millions of copies. Omotala is the second Nigerian and first Nigerian celebrity to receive over 1 million likes on her Facebook page. She currently has a total of 3 million followers on Facebook. In 2013, she was included in Time magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in the world. In 2014, she was honored by the Nigerian government when she became a member of the Order of the Federal Republic MFA for her contributions to Nigerian cinema. Omotala Jolod, who is of Ondo descent, was born in Lagos State. She grew up with her parents and two younger brothers, Teyo and Boloji Jolod. Her mother, Oliwetoin Jolodne Amori Ogontade, worked at J.T. Chonrai, Nigeria, and her father, Oliwashala Jolod, worked at the YMCA and the Lagos Country Club. She attended Queensland School, OPB, Oxford Children's School, Santos Layout, and Command Secondary School, Kaduna. She had a brief stint at Obafemi Owolowo University and completed her studies at Yoba College of Technology, where she studied estate management. She originally wanted a career in business management. However, while awaiting her results from university, she began modeling to earn a living. Equine was introduced to acting while accompanying a friend to an audition. Her first acting role was in the 1995 film Venom of Justice, directed by Reginald Ebra. She was given the lead role in the film. Her first major role was in the film Mortal Inheritance, where she played a sickle cell patient who fought for her life against more odds of survival. Since then, she has starred in several films, including games. Women Play, Blood Sisters, All My Life, Last Wedding, My Story, the woman in me and others. For her role in Mortal Inheritance, she won Best Actress in an English-speaking movie and Best Actress Overall at the 1997 Movie Awards. She was the youngest actress in Nigeria at that time to win this. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, she starred in several sequel films, including Lost Kingdom 2, Kosorigan 2, and Blood Sister 2, leading to a Grand Achiever Award from the Global Excellence Recognition Awards in 2004. She was awarded Best Actress in a Supporting Role during the Africa Movie Academy Awards in 2005. After shooting roughly 300 video movies, Equine received her first cinematic movie role in the 2010 film Edge. This film was shot at locations in Jos and the United States. Edge was the highest grossing Nollywood film at the time, a feat later broken by phone swap. In 2012, she starred in the Nollywood thriller Last Flight to Abuja, which became Tiscon's highest grossing movie in West African cinemas in 2012. She has gone on to win over 40 domestic and international awards. In 2015, Equine celebrated her 20th anniversary in the entertainment industry having appeared in about 200 films. In June 2018, Equine and fellow Nigerian Femi Odobami received invitations to be voting members at the Academy Awards. Ikende launched a music career in 2005 with the release of her debut album titled GBA. The album produced the singles Niger Loa and The Things You Do To Me. Her unreleased second album, Me, Myself, and Eyes, brought in production from Paul Play and Delby. It was supported by the songs A Feel Alright, featuring Harry Song, and Through the Fire, featuring Uche. In late 2012, Equine began working on her third album and enlisted the help of the Bridge Entertainment. She went to Atlanta, Georgia in the United States to work with producers and songwriters who could help create a sound that would resonate with American audiences. In 2012, Equine also launched a reality television show, Omotala, The Real Me, on Africa Magic Entertainment, a Mnet subsidiary broadcast on DSTV. She was the first Nigerian celebrity to star in her own reality show. Equine became a United Nations World Food Program Ambassador in 2005, going to missions in Sierra Leone and Liberia. 
She also supports organizations such as Charles ODI's SME 100 Africa to empower youth and young women in society. She has been active in the Walk the World project and participated in the Walk the World campaign in Liberia with President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Her human rights campaign work is centered on her NGO project called the Omotela Youth Empowerment Program, OYEP. This undertaking brought hundreds of youths together for the empowerment work and convention. She lent her voice in 2010 to the Rewrite the Future campaign of Save the Children UK. She became an Amnesty International campaigner in 2011 and has participated in campaigns in Sierra Leone, Maternal Mortality, and a 2012 campaign for the Niger Delta in Nigeria, where she shot a video asking Shell PLC and the government to own up, clean up, pay up and take responsibility for the oil spills in the Niger Delta. In June 2020, she visited an orphanage home in Tanzania run by Tanzania Mitindo House which focuses on HIV-infected children with Tanzanian actress Wima Sepetu. To promote the 2021 World No Tobacco Day and the hashtag Smoke Free Nollywood campaign, Equine and actors Dako Egbosenak and Daniel F. Young, Meg Otanwa, Michelle Didi, Osasi Gadoro pledged to stop smoking in their movie scenes as it had a negative influence on young kids who looked up to them. The campaign was backed by U.S. nonprofit organization Tobacco Free Kids and a sub Saharan public strategy firm, Gatefield. Equine has a regular column in OK. Nigeria magazine titled Omotela's Diary, which features writings about her life and experiences. On November 5, 2013, she received the Ebony Vanguard Award at the Music Video and Screen Awards, Visa, held in Birmingham, England. On November 9, 2013, Obovicta Kiledejo, the royal king of Ondo Kingdom, conferred on Omotela a chieftaincy title in her hometown of Ondo State. In 2012, CNN Travel included Equine's accent on their list of the world's 12 sexiest accents. The Nigerian accent ranked fifth on the list. In 2013, she was included in Time magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Equine was included in the list of top 100 most influential Africans by New African Magazine in 2013. In 2015, she was listed among the highest grossing movie actors. This listing was compiled and researched by Yoho. Jalod married Captain Matthew Equine in 1996. Together, they have four children. Nollywood actress Omotala Jalod Equine, popularly known as Omo Sexy, may have left the shores of Nigeria for good. The actress is now abroad and she is enjoying her stay over there without thinking of coming back anytime soon. The mother of four relocated to Los Angeles in the United States in 2021 and has spent almost one year there without looking back. It was gathered that she has been making efforts to break into Hollywood with the help of a talent hunt manager. Omotala made her acting debut in Hollywood in 2013 in a VH1 drama series titled Hit the Floor. The actress was part of the cast for the fifth episode of the first season of the drama series. She was chosen to act as Senegalese American singer Akon's date in the series. The thespian has paid her dues in the Nigerian entertainment scene, having put in over 25 years of hard work and dedication to her career before moving to the U.S. Please like, share and comment below your thoughts. Thank you for watching.